What's up YouTube? It's your boy Cry.HQ here back again with another video. So today I want to address the topic about all of the people getting off here in Medellin lately. Right now it's mid-December and over the last month and a half it's been at least five or six gringos get off here in the city of Medellin unfortunately. I can't imagine how tough that is to lose a loved one overseas and my heart is definitely with you the expat community's heart is definitely with you we just we just want to help you know people in the future from to avoid this happening i think that's the main goal for a lot of the youtubers out there that are taking up these cases and speaking on them they're not sensitive i mean they're not easy they're not easy things to speak on. Someone has to do it though, it's important. So shout out to people like DC Born Rob, Andre, Love Crossing Borders for keeping the flame hot on these things at all times. So yeah, we gotta stick together. It's really strange, the uptick in violence and things like that that's been going on here in Medellin is a very sad thing to see as a expat, a traveler, so on and so forth, because it could be any one of us. It's important to have that humility as a traveler to put yourself in these people's shoes and don't have such a big ego that you think it can't happen to you because it can. Out here, you just don't know. I don't think these people had any idea that it was their last day. I was watching some show a long time ago and it was like a detective and he was a murder detective and he would be the first guy to you know go see bodies and stuff and he would always say like nobody expects it to be their last day and he had a very interesting soundbite which was he would find people that had like a big check in their pocket like a like they like on a friday you just get your check and you got four hundred dollar check in your pocket who's gonna want to die with like a big you know check in their pocket so that's just like for me framed it perfectly where I was able to understand like, you know, how death can just sneak up on you. And we've seen it with so many people from celebrities to friends. When you live, you know, however many years you just see that over time. But anyway, I uh, don't want to bore you with that. Let's get into the actual cases of some of the, the, the things that have happened out here. So I'm going to just start with October 31st. There was a a male named Johnny Jerome, I believe, that was drowned here in the El Poblado neighborhood. And I believe there was a female involved on that, on that one. Then there was Jeffrey Hudson on November 11th, who was, um, I don't want to say it, but with a sharp object was put into his uh, body. Um, very many times until he passed on, unfortunately, on November 11th. All right, let me read you this story here so you can get a sense of how brutal of an attack this was. They captured a young woman who allegedly brutally offed an American tourist she met on a dating app. After she left the hotel room where the crime occurred, she was carrying a briefcase, according to authorities. An 18-year-old girl accused of offing the North American citizen Jeffrey Hudson Hewitt in a hotel in El Poblado, Medellin, exactly a month ago, November 11th. She was captured by agents of the prosecutor's office over the course of the weekend, December 8th, 9th, and 10th. Originally from Texas, Hudson arrived in Columbia in mid-August to take a long vacation, but he encountered a brutal outcome after downloading a dating application and presumably coming in contact with the young woman. On November 11th at night, the security cameras recorded him alive for the last time, entering with the lady, the hotel room. Hours later, the lady left the place with the briefcase in her hand. The foreigner entered with the defendant to the place where the events occurred. In addition, security cameras recorded showed that the woman moments later left alone and carrying a briefcase, the prosecutor's office detailed in a statement. The next day, surprised by not seeing him leave the room, the hotel manager entered with a spare key and found himself with a chilling scene. Hudson was on the bed with a sheet on top of him and at least 20 wounds generated by a sharp weapon in the neck area. During the night, he would have bled to death. After a fateful encounter with the woman, he was three times her age. He was covered with a sheet 
and with more than 20 wounds caused by a sharp weapon, most of them to the neck. The administrator contacted the authorities, and after removing the body, they reviewed the security cameras to find the whereabouts of the woman whom they managed to track to the Manrique neighborhood, where they finally captured her. So what we're seeing here, guys, is not a simple robbing or uh, drugging gone bad. This is a offing, uh, for lack of a better word, that can't be used at right now. Um, it's one of those. This was straight up and down. Um, someone let me know, what's the penalty for murder in Colombia for something like this? Someone jokingly told me it was like seven years. And I pray that that's not true because that's way too low for a crime like this, in my opinion. So let me know in the comments if anyone knows the penalties for these crimes. Then we had uh, Tujir to, uh, Zain. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. Supposedly this man was um, taken against his will by some captors after meeting with the female here in Medellin, Colombia that he may or may have not met on a dating app. And then eventually he was also found with um, wounds to his body that look consistent with a sharp object, if you know what I'm saying. And it was also said with his case that there was phone calls made to his family members and friends for money ransom by him or his captors. It's kind of unclear um, on that. But there's been a lot of images of him circulating uh, YouTube and, and um, social media and the news and things like that. So, yep. And just this week, we have another one. So, Philip Ryan Mullen is the latest victim this week here in Medellin. It appears that he was found um, in his hotel on, I believe, Sunday. Uh, this past Sunday, the 16th of December. And yeah, it's still unclear whether there was foul play or if it was a result of uh, drug. Uh, I can't even say that. <laughs> if it was a result of a substance abuse issue, if you will, or something along those lines. So I think that one will come out in the news here in a couple of days or so. We'll wait on that. But. You know, I just want to kind of pose this question here, like, who's responsible for all this? You know, is it 100 percent on the traveler? Should there be things put in place by, let's say, these dating apps and the State Departments from the United States and or the Colombian government? But to be honest with you, on the Colombian side, I don't really see the Colombians being too responsible for this because we come to their country. So with that being the case, I feel like, you know, they have enough to deal with here in Colombia that they're already fighting. It's hard for them to have to kind of pivot to worry about problems that are bought on from people that are not from their country. That being said, you got to secure the bag. You absolutely got to secure the bag at all times. So in, in, in those terms, I think they should kind of hop on it just on the PR and just to keep the tourism booming. Because I've been hearing a lot more whispers and people saying, like, I'm canceling my trip to Medellin. I'm not going down there right now. It's not the right time and all this and that. So, you know, that's a very important thing to keep in mind from the Colombian side and look what tourism has done to this city over the last 10 years it is amazing truly amazing what tourism has done to this city in 10 years this country Cartagena as well even Cali at this point is growing a lot so to show you that I'm not just making this up and this is really top of mind and what Colombians are actually talking about themselves look at this new snippet from one of the very popular sources here on social media where they state Medellin loses the year with protection for foreign tourists. The Tourism Observatory of the Personality of Medellin reiterated its request to the district authorities to modify the public policy of tourism. Given the increase of foreign tourists who have lost their lives in the city violently, that is, in fact, 
related to murder, suicides, scopolamine surgeries, aesthetics, and accidents. So let's not forget that there's other things other than the popular ones that we always hear about, like the surgeries and things that go wrong, right? Uh, that were supposed to go right. So Carlos Calle, leader of the Tourism Observatory, expressed concern about the death figures at the close of 2023. We closed the year with around 30 violent deaths. What we insist from the personality is that there is no public tourism policy that talks about tourist safety and there is no district entity that deals with that. Until the third quarter of 2023, 12 tourists from the United States lost their lives in Medellin. Other victims from countries such as United Kingdom, Panama, Canada, Argentina, France, and Mexico as well. I think it's important to think about, but going back to, let's say these dating apps, Tinder, you know, if it's, and I'm pretty sure it has been determined that in some of these cases over the last two to three years, let's say druggings, murders, robbings, and things like that, that Tinder has played an extremely big role in this. I'm going to just come out and say it. I don't got no beef with Tinder. I don't have no dog in that fight, but it's always what comes up. I know it's the most common dating app. Me, I'm old school. I hate dating apps. I just like to meet people in person for whatever reason. But, you know, I've used Tinder. I understand it. Um, you know, I tried it out. It just didn't catch me. Uh, it is not my twist. But, you know, I know it's popular amongst many, many men who come from many different places with different ideas of what Colombia is and different sets of information about Colombia. So that's where the mismatch is, right? You got different people with different experiences, with different levels of being naive and things like that, coming to a place that does not give a F about any of that. Okay, that's Colombia. Um, it's, it's a dope place, dope place, but please be on your P's and Q's out here and don't get caught slipping um, big time, especially with your life, you know, losing a phone or a chain or something. That's something you can get back. Um, your life is so, so important, man. That is, that's, <laughs> I don't know. I can't, how, how could you, how else could you say it? That's, that is fundamental. But I think Tinder, I mean, can, can you guys put some push notifications out there? Guys, you know what a push notification is? Like when when you're on your phone and you get those notifications that come down from the top and they just a banner at the top or whatever, that is a push notification. Any app developer can put that into an app. Can y'all put like a push notification here in Colombia with uh, some type of warning system or some type of warning for guys? Just give them a few pointers on meeting girls here that you guys can, you know, work with a team of us YouTubers on to draft, you know, uh, happy to help. But, you know, I, I don't think it would take a lot to just put a few pointers like, hey, Colombia is known for this type of crime. Be on the lookout for this type of deal, especially if you don't see uh, if, if you see a girl that has shows up and has a different look than what her pictures look like. That's a red flag. Don't where it's recommended not to consume alcohol with these women, the stuff like that, you know, simple, easy stuff that a app developer could do. Um, they have your location already, so they can put it so that only here in Colombia and Medellin or whatever city, Cartagena probably would be a good idea too. And they can alert people of certain things. So that's one thing. And then maybe some type of bulletin from the U.S. State Department would be nice to see. So I can't fault the American government too bad because on the State Department's website, they already have this bulletin posted as of May 11th, calling out many different types of crimes. As you can see in the summary, not going to read them out, but you can pause and read through this yourself. So there you go. The United States government is already kind of warning people. Yeah. So as of right now, it looks like Colombia is a, um, a three. When it comes to travel advisory, and that was updated on May 11th. So, hey, I, the, the State Department is definitely warning people 
already, it looks like. It's such a tough thing because when guys are going out searching for a certain thing, it's so hard to police illegal activity. You know what I mean? And that's an activity that's legal here, but is illegal in the United States, in most states. So it's tough, man. And we all know what I'm talking about here, what seems to be a motivating factor to a lot of people, uh, not just the beautiful terrain, but the beautiful women. So with, with that, you know, just keep in mind that the value of your life Here is almost nothing compared to back home when you compare the two. Life is taken a lot less seriously here, unfortunately. And it's not speaking for everybody, but there are just a few small percentage of people that um, live that life and they commit crime, unfortunately. Do not trust these Colombian women, though, because that's the culprit. If you could stop trusting these Colombian women to begin with... That's going to save you possibly your life because it all starts with the women. That's like the key to get into the house all the time. You know, it's like the like they open all the doors. It seems like with, with most of these cases, we don't know about the most recent guy, but I could say I'm pretty sure for the previous three. And then there was there's been a lot, man, over this past year. I'm talking about four in the last month or so, but. In the past year, there's so many that come to mind of people that got offed here, unfortunately. So women were responsible for starting that chain of events in a lot of these cases. And I want you guys to understand they may be beautiful. Sometimes they're really not, to be honest with you guys. But just the allure of fun and the new country and things like that, there's safer places to do that. Or you can, you know, like Peru is a beautiful country, a lot a lot more safe. And um, anyway, I don't think it's worth your life, guys, for the fun with these women. You know, you got to treat these women out here like you got some sense. You know, you can't just put your whole life into their hands. Get to know them a little bit and, you know, fact check things, you know. Don't just believe the BS that they're going to feed to you because a lot of times, you know, when you're trying to get to know someone, you can't really call them on their BS just yet because you just worrying about keeping the vibe right. And I understand that, guys. But at some point, you got to at least keep note of all that mental note and just don't use Tinder in these dang apps. That's for sure. I I was me I was with a friend just this week and he's experienced out here got months of time out here I'm not gonna ever disclose your identity or anything, um, but he was telling me he still uses Tinder and he feels like, you know, he's able to manage it and you know he looks for the red flags and everything but you know I guess he does find some decent women I, but I would to me it's just not even worth touching that ish, but um, that's just me. You know, I know you guys are going to do what you're going to do out here. Y'all are grown men, as am I. And, you know, you get to make your own choices in the big boy world here in Columbia or wherever you choose to go. But I'm telling you, and this is straight from Kari.hq right here. It's not a game out here with these women, with Columbia. It is the holiday season and people is trying to come up and get right. Y'all should know that. It's the same thing in the United States. So be very careful out here. Have fun. But be very careful and keep these dudes' name alive. And let's, as an expat community, do a better job of teaming up together. You know, uh, anything I can help with here in Medellin, let me know. Any other YouTubers want to collab, do anything, just hit me up. And, you know, um, I'm happy to work with a lot of people. Um, And so that's all in the spirit of just having a better voice for everybody here. So, you know, every time that this happened, it don't just get swept under the rug. You know, I I don't think I don't like how it just happens. It happens. It happens. And there's nothing being really done about it. 
it's kind of that's that's the crazy part so when when you see a situation like that you got to just think you got to look out for yourself man because anybody looking out for you and that's unfortunate but that's the mindset that i recommend you have and anyway guys i'm gonna get up out of here it's your boy kari.hq like comment and subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at kari.hq and i'm out peace Thank you.